In this course we'll be practicing basic techniques, um, primarily cuts. We'll be looking at fendente or downward cuts, satani or upward cuts, mazzani which are middle cuts, zwerkhaus which are cross cuts. Uh, these do not appear in Fiore's work but we'll be including them in our set and punta which are thrusts. And together these techniques make up the vast majority of techniques that you'll be performing with the sword in two hands and also it transcribes across to other weapon systems a lot as well. This is quite a basic drill set. It's not intended as a, as a flow drill or anything particularly complicated. It's, it's really just practicing individual techniques and gaining an understanding of the, the basic anatomy of each of these techniques. We'll be practicing them from a square stance, from a static stance, and then putting all the techniques together in a short, simple drill. By practicing these from a square stance where you're, you're standing with just your feet at shoulder width apart, it completely removes the legs from the equation and you're really just focusing on delivering techniques with your hips and the movement of the arms. It's an entirely false way of doing it, but it has certain advantages in that it forces you to focus on the anatomy of the technique and removes the aspect of footwork so there's less things to focus on all at the same time. By practicing these from a static stance it just introduces if not footwork but it, it promotes the sense of how each individual technique applies from different sides and it makes it a bit more of a realistic sort of thing that you'll be doing albeit it's still just being performed as an individual technique. Putting them all together as a drill set just gives them a sense of flow and moving from one to the next. At all times, whether you're performing these from a square stance or a static stance or in a drill set, you want to keep your knees slightly bent and your hips relaxed and your spine upright and just rotate the hips and just rotate all your, your body around the, the axis of your spine and use that movement to throw your arms out and deliver these techniques. When you're in a stance or if you are performing the drill, keep your heels off the ground, keep all your weight on the balls of your toes and keep your knees bent so that your weight drops slightly. It gives you a much more mobile platform to deliver from.